Yeah, peeps. <laughs> so, today we are going to talk about one video where we see a circulate over social media. You see me? Now, this video is actually about Bunny Wheeler. Because it looks like Bunny Wheeler, before Bob Marley died, right before Bob Marley died, had a conversation with Chris Blackwell. Where kind of turn him away further from Chris Blackwell, you see me, and kind of expose certain things. But guess what? I'm going to see the video, and when we come back, we talk about it, you see me? Well, I met Chris Blackwell in the win. It was the Sheraton Hotel at the time. It wasn't changed to William, I think. Was it? Was yeah, Sheraton. 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 Remember that. Remember, man. When Buffalo Locus and the Rockers people were here. Yeah, man. Remember with the time. Yeah. yeah. The I, I, I went. I went to listen this. This is listen. I went to the hotel to meet with Buffalo Locus to finalize the deal that I had to do the soundtrack for the Rockers movie. On appearing into the, into the place, I heard a voice say, um, Bunny Whaler, when I look, it was Chris Blackwell, with some people all dressed in white gowns, from long gowns. So I said to him, what, what's happening, Chris? How are you dressed like that? He said, there is, we're, we're having Thanksgiving, and we've come to Jamaica to celebrate the Thanksgiving. So I said, what's all this gear? He said, well, it's part of our um, dress, you know, custom, costume. Um, so I said, well, right, right. everything, everything said to me, he looked at me and said, Bunny, aren't you gonna help your dying brother? That time Bob was only sick with him, what? Sure. Him too. Sure. And Chris Blackwell could say to I, right. in front of many. many people, in the Sheraton Hotel, in the lobby of the Sheraton Hotel, Bunny Wheeler, aren't you gonna help your dying brother? Why you know man there? You know what I said to him? I said, you, Chris Black, you know what you want? You want a silver shot straight through your left eye and come to your head back. You say I wasn't impressed. I said, you wouldn't be impressed. It would be a small hole through your eyes and a big one through your head back. <laughs> Some of us leave him there so they look a rat back them to consider that. I made this message with Chris Blackwell said, the war is still on, Chris Blackwell. I'm gonna help my dying brother. I couldn't help him alive, but I'm gonna help him dead. Remember that bomb. Right, trust the gun. See, cheer up, cheer up. All right, people. So what's the video I know, Jano. <clears throat> the plot I get deeper. <laughs> I get serious. You see me? Because based off our of bunny wheel, I say. So like him imply say Chris Blackwell know what did that happen or basically him apartheid and that's not a good look over the years you know you know him the white man that came out right before him death and said boy he must confess to Bob Marley murder and this and that and you know they must say oh he's an ex fed and all them something there. I really never believe say the true story come out. And for Bunny Wheeler for say this to the point where him basically treating Chris Blackwell in a serious way is something to look into from the whole situation. Because come on. It's shake up, but real, realistically, Chris Blackwell have more to gain from Bob Marley death than anybody else. But if you have your comments or anything on the situation, just let me know. You see me because Bob Marley is a legend, you know, and sometimes me not alive. From the movie I come out, I bear things a handful. <laughs> so let me know what you think, and we can reason with it more. But. Bunny not even there for even explain where I come from further. So, why? It just left up the time for the truth really and truly exposed about Bob Marley's death. <laughs>